It is Tuesday, and I hope you're all having a great day. As you see, we have that box of Panini Select from 2017 that we'll get opening up here in just a couple of minutes. But I uh, don't know if you guys watched our uh, little show last night, Three Loose Lug Nuts, over on Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. We have a lot of fun with that. Uh, it's nothing serious, but it's just three of us that are really, really, of course, into the card part, and die cast, and that sort of thing. But we get over there and talk about the races from the previous weekend, make our picks from the for the upcoming weekend's racing, and we just have a lot of fun. So if you get a chance, go over there and check that out. We do that every Monday at 7 Eastern on Monday nights. So we'll go ahead and get this overwrap taken off of this. Of course, I don't open a lot of select. It's not like a higher-end product. It's definitely not like a National Treasures or anything of that ilk. But it's definitely a little bit stronger than Donruss, and maybe even Prism to a degree. But uh, one auto or mem card per box on average, five cards per pack, three packs per box. So you're only getting 15 cards, but a lot of times these cards are very, very nice. Look for on-card driver patch autos, and find exclusive Blaster Purple Parallels, <coughs> excuse me, Purple Pulsar Prisms. These are really, really nice looking cards. There you have the horizontally oriented version of this. And then we'll just kind of do a quick scroll here of the print run. Of course, you know Panini puts print runs. All the art, other card companies do put odds. There's the social media information, licensing rights, and blah, blah, blah. So we have three packs. Let's see here. None of them really feel thicker. Maybe that one feels a little bit thicker than the other two, so we'll shuffle it to the bottom. May have to get another bag here. We're starting to get full up over here. So we'll start with this. They do have some attractive wrappers here. That uh, little bit psychedelic in the background there behind Dale, I think they could have done maybe a little bit better. All this information is on the box, so we're not going to spend much time there. We're just going to start getting into the packs and seeing what we have course very I, I would say a similar design to the prism with the driver front and center and then you have this mirrored uh, border but the one thing that I do like is they do have the nameplate pretty clean on the bottom so we're going to start off with Jimmy Johnson Kurt Busch is next I don't think I have any Kurt cards with him in a mobile one uniform so that does look pretty nice here's a purple pulsar prism and it is going to be William Byron very nice. It's a rookie card on top of that. So a William Byron. Is he in the Truck Series or Xfinity at that point? He's in Xfinity at that point. Brad K. And Dale Jr. I do have a Purple Pulsar Dale Jr. in this. Maybe not this card, but I was just going through some Dale Jr. cards last night and did come across it. So I thought that was a pretty slick looking card that purple just really really pops go to pack number two who do we start off with elliot sadler of course he is retired now long time xfinity series driver never won a championship came close a few times just uh kind of had a lot of bad luck and you know wrong place wrong time wrong time type of a situation with a lot of crashes and such up next is richard petty don't know if I have this card or not, but it is nice. So we see the purple pulsar coming up, so we'll shift that one to the back. I got a nice Joey Logano. And then we have a Kyle Larson. So we're going to see the Petty here again. So let's uh, do the purple pulsar reveal this way. And that kind of lets us know real quick that it is Denny Hamlin. So that purple on purple does look really nice. So we got two nice purple pulsars so our hits going to be in here i think it's probably going to be a relic because it does feel just slightly thicker than the other two packs did i may have to get more of this product i really do like it and there you see we do have a relic so we're going to try not to expose it we start with casey kane we're going to put casey on the back there where the relic is Go to Ross Chastain, Sunday's winner, first time winner. Of course, this is when he was driving for Johnny Davis Motorsports. He took a risk and ran a few races for Ganassi, bought and paid for himself a few races, and ended up winning one of them, and 
caught the eye of several owners and ended up with Ganassi last year and now Trackhouse. Daniel Hemmerich, last year's Xfinity Series champion. Trying to see if we have one more card or is that... Yeah, we do have one more card before we get to the hit. And it is Martin Truex Jr. Auto Owner's Insurance. Nice looking card there. So I did feel a relic. I don't know if it's an auto relic or what it might be or how many pieces there are. So let's do a reveal. It's an Xfinity driver. It's going to be Jeb Burton. Looks like a multicolored piece. Two colored sheet metal piece. I don't know if I have any Jeb Burton memorabilia cards. I don't even know if I have a Jeb Burton autograph. I might. But I did get confirmation that on the 96 Racers Choice that that is Jeb Burton when he's about two years old front and center. So a uh, nice Jeb Burton autograph. I will take that one. Multicolored swatches are always nice. And of course the two purple parallels of Hamlin and William Byron. I don't believe either one of these are numbered. We're going to flip them over just to double check, which they are not. But a couple of nice parallels as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's not as long as normal. I like to keep them around 8 to 10 minutes. But it's only got 3 packs, 15 cards to review. So it goes by pretty quickly. So as always, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. What card was your favorite? What do you think of these uh, these relics? What do you think of those purple pulsars? I think those uh, purple pulsar cards are really, really nice. Probably going to have to pick up more of this product in the future. So anyway, as always, thanks again for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.